What's up everybody? Tobin here. And Reed. 5M Family Homestead Channel. Okay, stop. <laughs> One. You gotta say. Take two. Reed suggested that I say from the 5M Family Homestead Channel. I just thought if I said 5M Family Homestead Channel that y'all would assume that that's Sounds the channel. More professional. Yeah. Uh, so, got a fishing pole. Uh, got home from work, and Reed suggested that we should try to go fishing. He doesn't have baseball practice, and um, we don't really have anything planned this evening, so um, we're going to run down the creek and see what we can find. Um, it, it, as y'all probably know already, we've talked about it several times. We had a major freeze here back, what, a month and a half ago? Yeah. Something like that. And we got down to negative temperatures, which is unheard of in North Texas. So all of our creeks were frozen. So. Yes. Very, very frozen. So I don't know, you know, last year, last few years, we, we've done really good creek fishing, just catching perch and stuff like that. But I don't know how that's going to affect the fishing. So I went uh, fishing at the same creek that we're going tonight with my pappy, and we caught a couple, not yeah. too many, but not as crazy as it usually is. Yeah. But it may take a while for them to, to build back up the population. So, but uh, yeah, so we're going to take y'all fishing with us. But first, we're going to go around a, the homestead here and give y'all a little update. We got a lot going on, a lot more coming up. So uh, let's show y'all what's going on before we go fishing. So as y'all uh, saw in our last video, uh, we got chicks. Um, we hatched the one silky chick, and we think it's a hen. Y'all tell us, what do you think? It's the same color as the, our other hen, our other silky hen. So it makes me believe that it got a little more like, what is the like traits? From, from the mom? Yeah, yeah, it got a little more traits from the mom. Because if it would be a rooster if it was brown, but it is completely white, just like its mom. Yep. It's so a cute little thing. So and then we got some companions for it. Y'all saw that in the last video. They are growing much faster than the silky chick is. You can tell the difference in size between them. And right now they're she's kind of far away, but as you can tell, they, they're they're friends now. In the beginning, they weren't real sure about each other. They yeah, they're gigantic compared to the. So on the last video, I was holding one just like this, and it would, I could hold, I could wrap it all the way around my hand. Yep. Look at it now. Yep. Like, my fingers would be covering it last time. And it's been a week. Yeah. A little over a week. But they're doing good. Growing just right along. That one gets interested, it'll poke its head up. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to get, uh, upgrade their brooder soon because the big one, the, the Easter egg is already flying up high enough they can get out. It won't be long. I was trying to put this over it today because <laughs> um, me and my friend, we were over here looking at it and one flew like about that high and jumped out. Yeah. We grabbed it. And we can't close the shop door right now because it will get up to like 90 to 100 in here. It's already up in like the upper 80s, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah it was 80 degrees today. All right, we'll take y'all down and show y'all what's going on. We got a ton of rain here over the weekend, uh, beginning of the weekend. Um, so we can't go out in the garden, but the garden's doing good. Uh, we'll go out here and show you the garden and check on all the animals. Well, the silkies are doing doing really good. We've still got the wine dot in there with them, and. I assume that at some point we're going to move the silky chick out here with them, but that's going to be a little ways down the road. It's too little now, but um, yeah, they're doing good. We are uh, saving up the silky hen's eggs, and we have a surprise for y'all. That will that video will be coming out this week, so y'all stay tuned if you want to see more silky egg hatching videos. I don't know. That wind up looks roosterish. <laughs> Well, mom says it's not, but I don't know. That like little, well, gobbler <laughs> thing. The is it called the waddle? Yeah, the waddle waddle, and he waddled away. <laughs> don't copyright us. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like it's growing much faster than it usually does, and it's ginormous right now. Yeah. Like it's almost 
probably three quarters of the size of our big hens. Well, time will tell. So we're right next to the garden, so I'll show you the garden. Um, like I said, we got a lot of rain, so it's super muddy right here. You, you couldn't walk out there. But all the plants that we bought, the bonnie plants, they're all doing really good. And something we're really excited about is on these two rows right here, if you watched our other videos, we, we planted corn and it's starting to come up. We've never had good luck with corn. So. Doesn't corn not like sunlight though? Uh, no, it needs sunlight. Because in the evening, this yeah. one doesn't get as much because yeah. that big old tree right there. And then you can see over there in the corner, our strawberry plants that we planted don't look like they're doing anything in those two tires. But all the potatoes we planted in those tubs, and there's a few potatoes right there, and then way over in that corner, more potatoes. They look good and though. They're looking really, really good. All of our, we did an experiment on this uh, back two rows. We did um, shoots, the onion shoots, and then we did onion bulbs. And the bulbs are on the row closest to us, and they are by far looking better than the the bulbs are looking far better than the shoots did our shoots do so like i was saying oh, let me fix that so like i was saying we never had any luck with corn so if you've got recommendations uh to help the corn we're all ears somebody did uh, mention and we're going to do this is to we're going to get some of the straw that's mixed in with the pig poop out of the pig pen and we're gonna put it around the bases of the corn once it gets a little bit bigger. Hopefully get some of that uh, good, whatever's in pig fertilizer. poop, fertilizer, uh, to get down in there. So, uh, we're, we're gonna try that. So, but other than that, that's the only thing we've got to try. So y'all uh, fire away with suggestions. Reed wants to show you something. So every year that we've tried corn, it's been right here. Two rows, just like over there. Yeah. And it did not, it just, it did started not do. growing and it just stopped. Yeah. And it, this right here, like, over there you get like a quarter of the day, it's all, all in um, just shade. But this, more than half the day it was in shade. Yeah. So. About right, from right here over, it's shaded pretty much all day. So, which is not good for a lot of the plants. So, um, yeah. So, all right. Well, we're already, we're just. Yeah, we got wood bees. We gotta get the exterminator out here. Um, <laughs> They're kind of cool. Moving right along. Squishy is loving his new uh, extra large pen. He spends most of his time over here, which is weird. He's rooting a little bit. He's not rooting because he's bored. He's rooting because he wants to try find some worms. No, yeah. he's doing good though. <laughs> what are you being all? You being <sighs> jumpy. Throws all his oranges out of the pen. <laughs> yeah, he's not a fan. There, he'll, throw them <laughs> he'll put. I think he pushes them underneath the the pen. When you get a pole, like a metal pole that put deep in the ground, put like a bolt sticking out of it, so I can go and scratch his back. Yeah, he loves to scratch. Do that over by the garden with the little gate. Yeah. Anchors. So. <laughs> That was a weird sound. So as you can tell, he's he's getting into that fence pretty good. Um, we may have to, I mentioned on another video, we may have to run a strand of wire through the bottom or maybe just put a hot wire around uh, the bottom. Because the bigger he gets, the more he's doing that. And it wouldn't take much for him just to go right underneath there. You can tell I put some cinder blocks. That's what we call them, cinder blocks. He can push Con them really. Concrete blocks um, along between each post. So but like Reed was saying, he can push them out of there pretty easy. And he could, he could probably go right on that fence if he got one out of the way. So, um, but he found this. Yeah, who knows what that's from? So, but yeah. Hopefully, he goes. We're about three months out from him going to freezer camp, so um, he's got a ways to go. So, so guys, if y'all are in North Texas, um, 
if you know anywhere where we can, we're, we're looking to put, we bought this, it's a rabbit hutch, we bought it from our neighbor, um, but we're looking to put quail in there um, to raise, mainly for meat, we're gonna um, process them ourselves, but to also um, for eggs as well. We, uh, Cassie and Gary from Walker Farm Fam swear that uh, eggs are great, uh, the quail eggs are great, so I uh, may give them a try. So we'll try that too, but if you know anybody in North Texas area that has quail or quail eggs that are fertilized, um, please let us know. Um, we need to get some. I saw that you can get them on uh, Amazon. You can actually order them on Amazon, fertilized eggs, but they're they're pretty pricey. So you need to find somebody local. The pig's making a ton of noise back there. How do you do that? Like you go. Pssst, pssst, pssst. So what on uh, okay. one of our last videos? Oh, the chickens think we're feeding them. Look at them. They're all coming. Chickens. 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 When I whistle, like everybody comes running. Um. One of our last videos, we talked about Skylar got in a fight with uh, Reed's Mimi's dog, um, and she had a little, pretty good little gash on her head, but she's doing a lot better. She's doing a whole lot Stay better. Stay still. Yeah, just a little. Give back. A little spot right there. She won't stay still. Yeah, she's she's always on the go. Gabby will. So just a minute ago, we we mentioned I mentioned uh, Gary and Cassie from Walker Farm Fam. If you're watching this video right now, do me a favor, stop watching it, and go. I'll put an i card up here. I don't know, I never know which side it's gonna be on. One of these two sides. It's this side, right, right there. Reese says it's this side, we'll see. Because if you turn back here, then that's which way <laughs> the video will be. So, yeah. and then it's always in the left corner. So, the right corner. go click on that I card, or go down to the description, I'll put a link in the description, and go check out Gary and Cassie's new YouTube channel. It's called Catching Up With The Walkers. Gary and Cassie, it's about, uh, about, it's kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain it. You just go watch it. They'll explain it to you. The first video is there. Um, it, it's going to be a great thing. Um, they were really excited about starting it, and I think they were going to do really good with this, the concept they have. So I'm not, I'm not going to do justice explaining it. So like I said, go check it out. They have a video on there. It's like an introduction video. It explains what the channel is going to be about, and uh, we would... Greatly appreciate it if you go check it out and tell them we sent you over there. You won't be disappointed. Let's go fishing. Let's go.
guys, I was telling Reed this, uh, I don't know if you, I'll turn the camera around here in a minute, but there's two T-posts sticking out of the water right here. This is our, our regular fishing hole. If you've watched our channel very long, we've been down here and fished several times. Uh, we fished here long before we were videoing on YouTube, but uh, um, there's two T-posts right here in the water. I don't know why they're there, but they're really dangerous. One of them is close enough, if you were to fall, I mean, it could get you good. So I think what we're gonna do is um, if we get a dry summer and it dries out enough, we can get out there in the water. We're gonna come down here and pull those T-posts out, uh, to prevent us or anybody else from getting hurt. There's, it could, I, I, I've heard some horror stories about people falling on T-posts before. Um, some really bad stories, like hunting related stories, people filling deer feeders and stuff and up on a ladder, they have T-posts in the ground to hold their feeder, keep it from moving and fall off and land on a T-post. So, um, but yeah, so there's one I mean, obviously you can see it right there. That one's is close enough that you could probably fall on it from here. And there's a second one out there, uh, right there. So if we get a dry summer, this, I, I don't know. I've, I've, fi I've fished in this little hole for about 20 years and I don't remember it ever drying up, but I remember it getting pretty low. So maybe it'll dry up enough. We can get out there and pull them out. Reed, how's the fishing going? <laughs> that, that answers the question is he, he borrowed a cork out of my uh, tackle box and it, he already fished it out of the pond one or out of the creek once and that time when he cast it it came off go uh, go get you another cork out of my tackle box that one's that one's not gonna work we'll see if we can fish it out here in a minute if you can see Reed's Reed's cork is way over there and he casts it out here and that that little piece of, on the top of the cork is foam, um, and it it just went whew, right off that way. So what do y'all call them, cork or bobber? Um, obviously we're in Texas, and I grew up calling them a cork, but I hear a lot of people say the word bobber. Leave in the comments, what do y'all call them? Bunch of lures and 
Very good day. Got nothing. Oh, I forgot to say, we didn't catch it. You hold the camera where it's focusing on my steering wheel. There we go. It's focusing on my steering wheel and they couldn't see us. They can't see you, but they can see me. Me and my beautiful face. Yeah, so I was gonna say it was a unsuccessful fishing trip, but any fishing trip is successful, right? I mean, it's better than sitting on the couch. So we uh, we uh, got out of the house and stretched our legs a little bit, and I think I really do think the uh, that freeze probably killed off a lot of fish. We didn't come down here after the freeze, but I'm pretty sure that was the case. It's my hand. Well, guys, thank y'all for watching. We just wanted to vlog this at the evening. We're on a gravel road, sorry. <laughs> Bounce you can't tell. Here. Let me stop. You can't tell. Let me stop. All right, hold back up. You guys, the fishing trip, we was we did not catch anything, but it's fun to get out of the house and stretch your legs a little bit. So, want to make a video for y'all, so we brought y'all along. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, thank y'all for. <laughs> how do you, how do y'all not use a tripod and hold y'all's camera? They're professional vloggers. Ow. We're just, we're just semi pros. We're uh, amateurs. Yeah. Guys, thank y'all for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see y'all again. See you again.